But let's discuss now how to analyze the um, uh, the business plans with the Excel. Now the problem stands something like this. Imagine we have a file here, okay, and this file is our business plan. Uh, well, basically the business plan can have multiple spreadsheets there. It can have some inputs, it can have some calculation, and it can have some many reports. Um, and it can even be a set of the multiple uh, files, like Excel files linked to each other with these multiple spreadsheets and so forth. So on. Um, but imagine that this um, one business plan is a one case of particular plan. So it, the calculation is done really um, correctly, nicely, um, and it depends everything on the inputs. And the inputs are um, really not really hard-coded, but really retrieved somehow separately so um, every single criteria which can be changed um, it can correctly reflect it be reflected by the results so we have this excel file on the other side we want to have separate things one is scenario manager um, and another is a risk analysis so we want a tool for monte carlo analysis so we basically need to have two excel files which will read and which will interact to these files back and forth and which will do the same the the, the following things um, the task of the scenario manager will be to basically allow the external guy external user to invent the scenarios different scenarios bring them next to each other and then press the button and then generate the results basically based on the business plan. So what I mean by that is that um, imagine that we have several criteria in the business plan and I want many scenarios. Sometimes I change one criteria, sometimes I change second criteria, sometimes I invent to change both scenarios, whatever. So I have multiple scenarios and what I need to do is not really to make the multiple copies of the business plans but I want to see them next to each other. So I want to somehow bring all my scenarios together and based, the, based on the business plan calculation to observe my results and then make my decision. On the other side, the um, Monte Carlo simulation, what it does is that I want to describe how my initial criteria are changing. And I want to say that, okay, uh, let's say one criteria is changing mm, with the normal distribution, another criteria is changing with the uh, uniform distribution, third criteria is changing with the binomial distribution, and something is not really changing at all. But I want to describe all those kind of like a changes separately in the separate Excel file. And I want also then to interact and I want to generate my final histogram with the distribution of the how the result is changing really into my separate uh, file. Now, the whole approach is made to make these kind of analysis and these kind of calculations outside of the initial business plan. It's a very important uh, point at this moment because um, uh, to incorporate these calculations into each business plan is a very big hassle. Um, and imagine that you are working for the bank and some people are, are bringing to you the uh, uh, one business plan then you analyze this and then um, another brings another business plan and you want to analyze that so you definitely prefer in this kind of circumstances to have this separate tool for this business plus plan analysis rather than to modify each business plan and each spreadsheet and make your calculations to be um, written inside this business plan so that's the uh, general idea now let's um, uh, have a look at um, the things which I've already done here and uh, let's see how it works. Um, imagine that this is a business plan. I've been naming this file as a bp.xlsx and it's a very simple and stupid business plan here. I have criteria 1, criteria 2, criteria 3, criteria 4 and in my result is basically simply uh, all these numbers just like multiplying uh, on one another. But um, that's a very simplistic approach, but you can imagine that it can be as sophisticated as you can ever imagine. It can be multiple spreadsheets, it can be with the sophisticated um, uh, formulas and so forth. Um, but what is important here is that I have uh, four inputs here and one output. Okay. 
So, um, and this file uh, is a standalone file. I keep this file open, basically um, it's, a, it's a requirement so that all these files should be open once uh, I run the, the, the analysis, this macro actually. So, um, and now let's um, have a look at the, um, at the um, uh, scenario manager. In this scenario manager, all I say here is that I have my inputs and outputs. So I have my four inputs and one output. I have indicated what is the file name where to look for these inputs and outputs, which stretch it should it look like, and which cells should it look. And um, I have uh, here a calculation of how the number should be generated. So now to analyze back, this is my business plan. So in my business plan, I have this BPXLS, I have this input data as the input data where this whole calculation happens. And I have cells like a C5, C6, C7, and C8 as the inputs, and a C9 as an output. Now, if I go back to my Monte Carlo analysis, um, I have described all these things here. So basically, what I said is that here in the C5, I want to have um, my um, number should be changed like this. It is basically changing uniformly from 8 to 12. So this formula describes it. Uh, minimum this number can be 8, maximum this number can be 12, and the distribution is like uh, uniform here. Uh, in this particular case, I have the um, uh, norm in a function, which means which describes the normal distributions with the um, uh, parameter uh, mean is 20 uh, and 1.5 is a standard deviation. So basically, what it does is that if I will generate some random numbers here, then um, uh, it, these numbers will be mainly around 20, but uh, uh, sometimes a little bit higher, sometimes a little bit lower, so that the standard deviation of these random numbers around 20 is uh, 1.3. Um, in third case, I've been using this um, binomial distribution, so I said that if my random number is less than 0 0.7, then give me 30, otherwise give me 40. Um, and in this particular case, I have a simple formula that random number multiplies by 2, which means that it varies from 0 to 2. So basically, if I do something like this, I have nothing in my data and I have chart which is showing nothing because chart basically reads the data. But if I come here and press simulate, what it does is that it generates whatever numbers, goes then and writes it down into here, then this spreadsheet is calculating in an ordinary way the result and then the result is pulled back again to this file and will be written here in the data and then it will be written down here in many times as many as the number is indicated here so the number of the samples i write here 100 so the 100 uh, results will be generated here and then the chart will read this so now let's see how it looks like and how it works so I press the button and it, it does all by itself. It generates the number and it populates all this number um, into the uh, business plan. It, uh, the business plan calculates the numbers and then the macro pulls them back to the data spreadsheet and then we will see the chart is generated. And that's done. So it's uh, I just limited by 100 samples so that to limit the time. Um, and that's how the my final distribution looks like. That is my final distribution of the whatever result which I've been picking up. And here are the data which was actually pulled back from all this macro running. So that's how the Monte Carlo simulation looks like. And um, once again, to come back to this point, this was uh, Monte Carlo, which was actually reading, basically writing first into the business plan and then reading results back to its spreadsheet and then building the analysis into its uh, workbox. So now let's see how this uh, scenario manager is looking like. Scenario manager is um, organized in a slightly different manner. It simply says that in the BP file, in this input data, in these particular cells, there are some inputs, there are some outputs. And um, I will just delete these numbers here because these outputs needs to be actually uh, populated by macro. So I have the mid case and in my mid case I, I have these four inputs and here I have 
criteria one high and a criteria one low, which means that basically it's the same numbers, but in this particular case, 10 is replaced by 15, and in criteria low case, 10 is replaced by five, and then I'm replacing, then I'm changing these two numbers in criteria two high, criteria two low, and then I'm saying criteria three high and criteria three low, and finally I said criteria four high and criteria four low. So by, by that, I simply say that <coughs> each criteria can be uh, stretched either in the high, in the optimistic case, or in the pessimistic case. So now let's see what will be results of each particular case so that I want to observe it at once and to see it and to easily compare these things. So once again, what this macro will do is that it will populate all these numbers back to the business plan and then here, and then it will calculate this number and will pull back to this scenario manager back. So <coughs> let's uh, press the button. So here are my numbers, okay? Um, and I can actually even see these numbers graphically uh, generated on the other chart so that I could compare and I could actually see which criteria, criteria one, two, or three, or four, was stretching and to which direction and how much it was stretching my final results. So this is how actually the scenario manager looks at. Once again, back to the topic, I have to say that uh, it really matters that we uh, made these tools, the scenario manager, and the Monte Carlo simulation tools as a separate spreadsheet, and these spreadsheets are completely uh, separate and uh, standalone from the business plan. And if we simply take and replace the business plan with another file, it will uh, basically uh, do the same job, and all we have to do is just to indicate the um, uh, correct file name, spreadsheet name, um, and the correct cells, and that's it. So that was that for the uh, simulation and the risk analysis of uh, any type of the uh, Excel-based business plans.